Yeah, I, I know, but I was I'm kind of taken aback. I've never seen a boss ever use a full heal. I've seen them use super potions, potions, hyper potions, but never a full heal. Like, I'm not really sure what to make of that. That's honestly kind of interesting. I don't even know if, uh, yeah, I'm not even sure if, like, Bulbapedia even has anything on that. I mean, I'm not really sure, but that's honestly kind of interesting in a way. Huh. Well, that, we're just getting hit with surprises. That's all I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen. We're just really getting hit with surprises right now. So, yeah, so once we got all that done, it's time we backtrack to Cerulean City. We'll have to take the underground path because, unfortunately, the route in which to get, at the very least, moving to Cerulean City a bit quicker is guarded, and we really can't do much about that. So, womp, womp, womp. Uh, man, I'm still, I'm still in shock. I really am, though. We should probably also switch Ivysaur out because Ivysaur's got a quite a bit of experience on his side. I'm trying to see here. Uh, nothing really much to say. But here we go. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. I don't like the sounds of that. Alright, Oddish. All right, let's go. It's too bad that Pikachu does not benefit in the slightest against you, Oddish. Let's see. Let's see if we can do any kind of damage. Yeah, no, we're switching. Come on, we were dealing with this literally in the last gym. We're not dealing with it right now. That's just rude. That's all I can say to that. Oh, you got your sweet scent going? Ain't that lovely of you. I got a peck. Alright. What do you got next? Bellsprout? I don't fear a stain in then. Hit him with a peck. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. Oddish. Well... Firo's, Firo's gonna do cleanup here. I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, doing a damn good job at it. Uh, 300 XP. And, yeah, just full team of grass types. Alright. Well, see you later then. And you're out of here. Very nice. 324 XP. What do you have to say for yourself, Alicia? You deceived me. Well, that's what you get for picking a fight with someone who's about to be literally an absolute unit by the end of this game. Oh, I didn't sell the Stardust earlier. Eh, that's no big deal. We'll come across another, uh... What is it? Another Mart at some point or another? Won't be a big deal. Go ahead and switch around our team here. Get Firo... Uh, well, I sort of might want to take lead because I did see a Hiker. Yeah. What do you got for us? <laughs> great i was bored eh. i think that's what it that was implied i don't know maybe he's just ready for a good old time jeremy you got him a chop for us i wish i had my wonderful wonderful Firo, but that's just how it be sometimes and that machop did not stand a chance very nice level 39 very Good to see. Sweet Sand. This is a move that you can use in the field if you so wish. Um, and you can actually get Pokemon to encounter uh, you, essentially. But the thing is that it's only a move that you use uh, in battle with regards to lowering someone's evasiveness. And I'm not someone that's going to really be benefiting all that much from it, so I didn't care all that much. Keep it coming, eh? Oh, wait. I'm out of Pokemon. Sucks to suck, my guy. TM40, Aerial Ace. I know who that's going on. Finally, a move that will actually benefit our Spiro in more... Spiro? Spiro? In more ways than one. So, yes, we can finally teach this 
to someone who can benefit quite a bit. Uh, Aerial Ace is a move that never misses, much like with Shockwave. And uh, that is what we call a damn good time. I was just going to get rid of Leer, only because Leer, I don't really care for it all that much. It's, uh, it's okay. But Firo got a lot stronger just from that TM alone. Uh, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of him. Yeah, all right, I want to move Aerial Ace up there. Move Fury Attack. I'm trying to order things around here. No, no. Uh... I don't know why I do this. I mean, I could do this in battle, but, uh, like, but it's whatever. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll leave it like that. It'll be fine. All right, let's go ahead and uh, keep pushing forward here. What do we got? Why, hello there. Who's that walking there with those good-looking Pokemon? It's kind of weird. Weird way of putting it. All right, Camper Chris, let's go. My fear is about to show you what's up. Oh, maybe not because of Intimidate. Uh, hopefully it does decent damage. Wow. Okay. All right. Critical coming right out of the woodworks. Charmander. All right. I thought these Pokemon were supposed to be rare. Suddenly, we're seeing them in other trainers' hands. Oh, because there's something you're not telling us, bud? I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I was, it, it did it something. My Metal Claw, wouldn't wouldn't Ember or something be a bit better? You just hit yourself with static, so that's your fault. Hit you up with them shockwaves, though. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Now now the trainer's thinking outside the box. That could be a bit of an issue. It's too bad that uh, he didn't do that beforehand. And there we go. Out like a light. You sure were good. Let's go ahead and heal up uh, Pikachu because fortunately she took a little bit more damage than I'd like. All right. Go ahead, we got a bug catcher here. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. Well, let's see what let's see how if your hard work paid off, bug catcher Brent. A Beedrill. Ooh. We're seeing the fully of all forms of these lads more often now, eh? Doesn't matter because Aerial Ace is coming in and sending them to the Great Beyond. Level 26. Very nice. Beedrill again. Okay. Okay. I thought maybe Butterfree would be coming out, but another Beedrill? Fine by me. Aerial Ace just coming in and sending you right back into your Pokeball. Get some nice experience, though. What? What a total waste of time. Hey, man, you can, we went up against a normal flying type. I don't know what to tell you beyond that. Is there anything we can find in this grass here? Anything interesting? Rattata? I don't really care about you, buddy. What about anything else? No? Snyder Rattata? We'll give the grass a few more look arounds. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Who knows? You never know with this kind of stuff. Oh, Sandshrew. We saw you a bit earlier. It's nice to see you again, buddy. Too bad you're not. Of uh, all that much interest. I want to see if there's new Pokemon here. Spiro. So if you didn't catch a Spiro earlier, I guess another spot you can catch it. Great. It'll be level 13. So you'll have a little bit of leveling, but hey. Whatevs, I guess. We'll give the grass two more look arounds. If we don't find anything interesting, we'll just move on. I'm just doing this to see if we can find anything cool, anything unique, anything we haven't seen in our Pokedex. Doesn't look like we're going to be finding much, though. I mean, there might be something in this grass that we haven't seen, but, eh, well. RNG ain't helping us out here. Yeah, we're just going to move on. <laughs> Not much of a point to be hanging around here. 
All right. So, let's see what we got. Our bug catcher, all right. Go, my super bug Pokemon. Yeah, we'll see about that. Caterpie, eh? Go, my Furo. And Aerialis, this lad's team to Howl and Back. Alright. Got a Weedle. Dude, you didn't even evolve them. What are you doing? The other bug catcher did a much better job at training his Pokemon than you did. Like, come on, man. You're a step down. Ooh, Venonet. Now this is an interesting Pokemon. Hey there. Bye there. Well, so much for your grand first appearance. Alright. My bugs. <laughs> My bugs. We got a hiker up there. Uh, I'm just going to have Ivysaur out in the lead just in case. You never know. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Haha, <laughs> aren't you a little toughy? How could you tell? Let's go. Alright, Geodudes. Good thing I had Ivy Sword and Lead for this. Razor Leaf inbound. And Geodude is down for the count. There was no way Geodude was going to live through that. Another Geodude. That sounds about right. Incoming Razor Leaf. And down goes Geodude. Oh, Machop. Looks like Firo can get some uh, little bonus experience. We do like to see that. What's up, buddy? Goodbye, buddy. Down you go. Alright, level 27. Moving up in the world, Firo. See, I bet he really hasn't learned any kind of new moves. If you didn't find Aerial Ace on your journey, you might be stuck with a Firo that literally just pecks. I'm taking the rock tunnel to go to Lavender. Well, so am I, lad. Too bad it's gonna be one hell of a dungeon. We'll see that when we get there, though. This Razor Leaf is coming out. I forgot Ivysaur was in the lead, so that just means that he's gonna be getting more experience than... Really, anyone should be at this point. I guess Firo's coming out because Pikachu really can't do much against this uh, Sand Shrew. Alright, Aerial Ace inbound. Mwah. No. So much for that, I guess. There we go. There we go. Ekans, okay. Well, seeing as how Ekans has Intimidate for the ability, Pikachu is coming out to not care about it. Oh. We'll see, that's a good ability for Ekans, though. Like, I mean, just, I mean, it's a good ability all around, so the fact that Ekans has it, that's actually kind of nice. It's too bad I don't really care f too much for it as a Poison-type Pokemon. A shame. Stand true, okay. Hero coming out to the ballpark. Gonna give him a nice swing of uh, some aerial ice, you know what I'm saying? Here it comes. Oh. Well, at least, uh, you know, that doesn't matter in the long run because everything just faints at the sight of Furo. Can't measure up. Alright. I can't imagine there being much in that grass patch, so we're just gonna move on. Uh-oh. Don't you dare patronize me. I mean, I didn't say anything. I just literally ran in your way. Meowth? Okay. Okay. Why am I not switching Ivysaur out here? I literally keep forgetting to do this. Doesn't matter. Meowth's going... Oh, okay. Okay. Points scattered everywhere. Yeah, that's an interesting move, Payday. It's essentially when you throw that out as a move, at the end of the battle, you'll get a little extra money in your pocket, so... What it's worth, I guess. It's too bad that uh, she used it and I didn't, so we don't benefit much from it. 
uh, if the enemy uses it. We got a burn heal though. 